six for Tyrell Biggs. 17 point pit lead. Spins the hookup, won't go. Renfro almost had a putback. Renfro still trying to fight it up. And that's going to be the fourth foul on Tyrell Biggs. He goes hard. Well, you don't have McGee. He's off the court. Limped off the court. And now you've got one of your other big people, Biggs, with four fouls. And Tony Salisi is saying something to Jamie Dixon. But at this point, McGee has not returned to the court. Sam Young is going to check back in the lineup. Not, not a bad choice, but I tell you, when Big East play starts and you're playing against some of the powerhouses in the Big East like Connecticut and Georgetown and those guys that have 6'11", 7-footers, you, you might want to consider the guy Miller, who they're teetering with right now whether or not he's, they're going to redshirt him. This is an interesting night in, in terms of interior play. You have McGee in the locker room. Now you have Biggs on the sideline with four. You have no height on the field, on the court right now. And the Bruins will again apply the pressure. The biggest man the Panthers have out there is Sam Young. Well, against Belmont, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but in Big East play, it will. 57-41. It has taken control here in the second half, and we're just past the midway point. Sam Young on the perimeter. Tried to go to Gibbs, and that is stolen by Wick. He thought about three. And he will shoot a three. This is Dotson buries it. 11 points for him, three three-pointers. John, I would love to play for this team. Just spot up and let it go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were pretty good at that, Curtis. <laughs> Everybody has a green light. Robinson goes down low to Gibbs. No place for him to go. Reverses to Young. Sam gets to the lane. Kicks it in the corner. That's too strong. Scramble for the rebound. And it's brought out of there by House. Now feeds Hanlon. Brown was tied up inside that time with Belcher. And Brown is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. John, I thought that could have gone either way. Campbell checks back in for the Bruins from Belmont. Out of Nashville, Tennessee. They are members and three-timing defending champions of the postseason tournament in the Atlantic Sun Conference. Here's Robinson with it now. Gilbert Brown looks to Sam Young. Now it's Fields. 15 on the shot clock as Levance backs away. Young comes with the screen, gets it back to Robinson, and he's fouled on the play. Well, if they were only convert tonight, Fields would have 20 assists. Yep. Great court vision. Move it out the basketball, and he'll get it to you. This is what Le Levance does very, very well. He got that quick step. The blocking foul will put Robinson at the line. It's not how you write it up, but it went in. <laughs> First free throw that the freshman from Chester, PA, has made this year. Got them both. Fifty nine forty six Panthers on top eight and a half minutes remaining here at the Peterson Event Center. Another three. That's an air ball that goes out of bounds. It was touched last by Keaton Belcher. 
Zoo loves air balls, don't they, Chris? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I tell you, you're going to see a lot of that, particularly at the end of the game when you talk about a team like Pitt that can throw so many bodies at you, eventually they wear you down and your legs go.